Okay, so I'm here and I've just shuffled the cards for a tarot card for the week. And what I've pulled is, here he is, <laughs> the King of Pentacles. Let's see if we can get him in there. So it's quite a material card. It relates to the material aspects of our lives and what they are all about. So what I've got here is in general it's about looking after your material things if you've got a house make sure it's all good um also financially you know looking at your long-term goals how to achieve them and that it's okay to get a bit of advice if things aren't working too well so with work it's it's a great time to ask for a raise um, there quite likely will be a male in your work environment who can actually help you, assist you to grow in your career. So keep your eyes open for that opportunity. There's usually an older male who has quite a bit of experience in the whole field. So yeah, um, it's a time to do well and to focus on what you want to achieve with that, you know, with your goals, with your dreams even so far as putting in a savings plan for the long term even if you only save twenty dollars a week it's it's actually something that's yours and that's going to grow so great time for that with love it's about the stability the financial stability also of a couple of a relationship and maybe talking about that a little bit talking about what your long-term goals are so that's yeah, pretty self-explanatory. If you're single, this can indicate that there's a person coming into your life who is quite a successful person and who's worked hard to get to where they're at. But they also have a lot of energy to give to others to support and encourage them in whatever area they're working in. So I think that looks really good. With health, invest some money in your health. Buying good food is worth it. <laughs> Your body's worth it. You know, if you eat rubbish because it's cheaper, it's going to eventually catch up with you and have an impact on you. So, yeah, it's okay to do that or treat yourself to a massage or something lovely like that. So, with work, that's it. Um, so, what I've got here is spiritually. It's about coming to grips with the concept of spirituality and money. I've seen some amazingly long involved debates between people about whether it's okay for spiritual people to charge. Um, if they dedicate their life to that and they've dedicated their time to their growth, um, absolutely. I mean, if they had to go and get a regular job, they wouldn't be there doing that work. They wouldn't have the time or the energy. So money is actually just a form of exchange it's about looking at your beliefs around that money's not evil it actually doesn't have a personality at all it's just a neutral form of exchange it's what people do with it that matters and yes some people do harmful things with it but a lot of people don't they just use it to live the best they can and then you know they do work for it they receive money and then they give it to somebody else because that person has something they want so if you've got beliefs around money and have negative beliefs about it have a look at those these week this week because it's time to clean that up so that you can start manifesting abundance and abundance isn't just money abundance is Feeling good, eating well, enjoying your environment, everything around you. But one aspect of it is money and it seems to be the one that causes people a great deal of trouble. So, yeah, look at your beliefs. Do you hold subconscious beliefs that don't work for you anymore? So, I know I was brought up by people who had quite a strong poverty consciousness. And it's taken me quite some time to work my way through that. Um, but I have and I can understand why it was there uh, for them so yeah but what we believe we tend to think and attract so give that a wee 
bit of thought and clean it up and start putting out some positive thoughts about abundance and it doesn't mean you're going to win lotto next weekend it means that slowly the things oh you might do but things will start falling into place for you a lot better if your beliefs attract abundance which abundance allows you to eat well to travel to have experiences to go somewhere to visit family visit friends you know <laughs> it does some really wonderful things for people too so have a wonderful week everyone and yeah it's a very nuts and bolts energy so it's about those material aspects of life which exist and yeah work with that this week and see where you want that to go for you so have a beautiful week lots of love and see you next time <laughs>